Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to give you my top tips for prepping for a photo shoot. I have a lot of girls that I coach for photo shoots, for stage, and they always ask me how I go about preparing for these things. So I'm gonna give you guys some of my best tips when it comes to getting prepared to be behind the camera. It's Saturday. I've checked in with my coach as normal. I've done all my normal Saturday things. My weight is down, prep is going smooth, but today is not about prep. Today is about the photo shoot that I've got booked on Monday morning with Toby Harrison. I've shot with him before. He's an amazing photographer, and the shoot we're doing this time round is slightly different. I'm not shooting on a beach. I'm not shooting in the desert. I'm not even shooting in the gym. I'm actually gonna be shooting in a hotel suite. It's going to be a luxurious kind of shoot, and it's something I've never done before, but I'm quite excited about. So, what's the first thing I prepped for this photo shoot? Well, apart from my diet and my cardio and my training and all those things I'm doing to get my body in the right shape for a shoot, there's lots of aesthetic things that need to happen in order for me to feel comfortable in front of the camera. You might already be able to tell I've had my lashes done by my girl, Christina. I had those done on Monday evening. I've also had my nails done. I've got them painted. My favorite color, Wildfire Red by Tips and Toes. I also had my hair done yesterday. You can't really tell because I've just washed it and it's clean, but I had my guy Wasim at Hair By Us work his magic on my hair and add his amazing color to my hair and the way in which he styled it is how I'm going to style it for my shoot too. As it's Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday, so I will be preparing for my shoot in terms of scrubbing my skin. I'm going to have a spray tan tomorrow afternoon in preparation for Monday morning shoot. But today, I'm gonna to take you guys with me shopping. When preparing for a shoot, it's really important not just to think about what you look like, but actually what you're going to wear and prepare your outfits. So I've got a few outfits in mind. I hunted through my wardrobe. I'll show you those later but I'm going to pop to the mall now with my friend and I'm gonna pop into just a couple of stores in order to pick up maybe some extra bits that might just add to the shoot. just got home and as you can see I literally went to only one store well I went to Victoria's Secret and Victoria's Secret Pink because of the type of shoot it is in a hotel I kind of wanted underwear but I didn't want anything too seedy or racy so I just went for kind of this sort of color I don't even know if I'm going to use this but I thought it was a really, really pretty set. Like I love this burgundy color and I did not go for naughty knickers. I just went for kind of full pants, but let's see if I use this on the shoot. And then I also saw this set and I just love this blushed pink and I thought this crop top is super cute. If only in Dubai I could wear that with a pair of trousers. Definitely not. Just casually putting my underwear on the uh, dining room table. Yep. What do you think about that Milo? And then the other bits and pieces that I said I found in my actual wardrobe that I could use are all here. So I'm gonna lay them out for you in sets right now. These are the sets that I kind of made up like randomly from my wardrobe. So I've got two long sleeve crop tops that are open backed. And I thought, why not pair them up with a pair of kind of frilly knickers? <laughs> so I've got those two sets. And then this top here was from Misguided, a really, really cute kind of beach crop top, but again, probably too revealing here in Dubai, but I paired it up with a similar color kind of matching pair of knickers. And then, yes, mummy's knickers. And then this one here is from Pull and Bear, a really nice lace top, but again, super revealing, and I just couldn't wear it out in Dubai, so I've never actually worn that, so I thought I'd pair that up as well. I've got one dress from Pretty Little Things that's kind of a lacy dress. 
if I want to do a kind of dress vibe. And then this kind of bodysuit, ironically, is one of the first ever swimsuits that I wore on a shoot with Darren on our second date ever. My goodness, probably about five or six years ago, probably about six or seven years ago, actually. And then here are just some cover-ups that I will take with me if I feel like kind of doing a cover-up sort of affair. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna pack and take with me, plus the two things that I brought as well. And what I'm going to do now is pack all of that stuff up into a small suitcase to take with me on the shoot. But it is now Saturday afternoon slash evening. The sun's about to set. I've got to jump on a couple of Zoom calls and then I will pick you guys back up tomorrow when I'm about to have my tan done. And I cannot wait to have a tan because your girl is super pale. For someone that lives in Dubai, I just don't go out in the sun. So I'm really excited to have a tan tomorrow. And I just think that being tanned for a shoot makes a huge, huge difference to your overall physique. <laughs> we have Milo. <laughs> You've got a new friend. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit licky and a little bit bitey, bless him. But cute bitey. Oh my god! Stitchy! Are you hiding? Come and say hello to Manel. Hey! Hello! So what colour are we going for today? Okay, so what I've done, I've mixed two dark shades together. Um, you do have olive skin, although you're quite white at the moment, so you can mix <laughs> the chocolate um, 15%. Nice. So 15% DHA, it's an ash base. And then we've got this uh, glow on the go to 14%, and this gives you more, it will add the glow and the warmth to the tan. Nice, pants. that's so what we want. Be gorgeous. Finally, I'm Honestly going to look pale. half Greek again. Yes, <laughs> so pale. <laughs> and just like that, I don't look like Casper anymore. I actually look like I live in Dubai and I have a nice tan. Ironically, when I tan, I actually go this dark because I'm half Greek, so I've got that Mediterranean skin, but I just never get into the garden and I never find any time to sunbathe and tan myself. You'll notice my face is still very pale. If you've watched my vlogs before, you guys know that when I fake tan, I do not tan my face. I like to leave my face pretty white because then what I do is I actually contour my face with my makeup which I will show you guys tomorrow morning. is me all ready for my photo shoot. I will add my lipstick when I get there. I'm just about to have my breakfast now and then we're gonna head on the road. It's just coming up to 8 a.m. My shoot is at nine, we'll finish at 10, and then I'm heading straight to the gym to train and carry on with the rest of my day.
these ones? The yeah, these are a bit more covered. That's a bit more kind of beachy swimwear, yeah. maybe on the balcony or wherever you want to do it. Yeah. And that's more if you don't want to do laundry ones. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely do laundry. Let's start in the swim one. Open eye. Through the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Dripping lights paint the skies all because of you. photo shoot all done and as you can tell I went to the gym straight afterwards got my push session in did my posing did my post-workout cardio which is new there have been some changes uh, to my food and to my cardio which I will explain in another video coming very soon but for now I really want to go and shower I want to scrub all of this makeup off and I need to get to work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. I've never done anything like this before in terms of the type of shoot. I've never really gone through how I prep for a photo shoot. So if you found it helpful, let me know. Drop a comment down below or drop me a message on Instagram. But thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video very, very soon. Bye for now, guys.